Hey there guys, so this is going to be my opinion of 10.13 final. And uh, I don't know how long the video is going to be. It will be as long as it is. And let's hope that we don't make many mistakes, okay? So first off, I'd like to say that 10.13 um, is kind of a step forward for a new file system, which has actually been proven to be pretty good, but also has its downfalls, unfortunately. Um, like with disk utility, let's start there. I am not able to actually back up my drive the last time I looked. So I think it's this one we're on. Yes, we're on this one. So you're able to delete your volumes and everything, right? But here, let's try new image. Yeah, you see? We can't image from my Mac OS drive. Show all devices. Let's try this again like this. Now it says we're able to do it, but are we really? Uh, other things are at random times with the mouse, it's going to jump from here to here with for, for no reason whatsoever. And that's kind of annoying. So it is allowing us to do this, but operation resource busy so they might have fixed the fact that you can't image your drive using APFS also if you have an APFS drive and you also use Linux and you store things on that drive um, then what happens is you can't access your drive on Linux anymore and that kind of sucks so you're kind of limited for now until Linux gets support for APFS uh, another thing is if you have 10.13 and you're going to install, it will force you onto APFS. Now, for the community of those who want Mac OS on their PC, I'm not allowed to say the word because apparently it's not advertiser friendly. Um, all you really have to do, and I'm going to show you real quick, just so you guys know that it's not too difficult at all. Oh, well, we got to update this real quick. Or it doesn't take long and done so first things first when you go to your SM BIOS uh, I'm gonna just do mine real quick uh, that's it you have to add a new SM BIOS this needs to be updated and so does this um, these need to be added even though they're handled by Clover you can add them manually yourself uh, you're gonna need an SMUUID and to get that, it's simple. Uh, I might get this wrong. Nope. There you go. So you generate the UUID with that command inside a terminal, and you just you paste it there. Uh, you are going to need to select yes to inject the text, and you are going to need to do that. Okay, that's important. Custom UUID as well is it, it should be also important to get everything right. You want to get this thing as close to a Mac as possible. Uh, for those who are having firmware update problems, you're going to need to use... Wait, that doesn't actually work. You're going to need to unplug your Windows drive. Okay? Always have dash V when you're installing a system. Uh, add dark wake in case you don't want to use VTD because that does cause subsystems not to boot up. Okay? And there's another one. Uh, right now, people are currently having problems with disabling NVIDIA drivers to be able to get things installed. Yes, there is a new driver out, but it has a ton of problems and tons of people are having issues. Just to let you know. Anyway, that's pretty much all you have to do inside of Clover uh, for your current config. Whatever else you add, you know, that's up to you. So, we're going to talk performance, okay? Uh... Plain and simple, the performance is great. It's not slower than the past Mac OS. It doesn't use more memory. It doesn't use more CPU. Um, the only major change is that they had to rewrite half the operating system to be able to use APFS. So under the hood, a lot of stuff has changed, but it still feels like the same old operating system, which I guess is kind of a good thing. Uh bugs so let's go over a few bugs so graphics bugs 
for games like RuneScape, um, sometimes your mouse cursor can go corrupt. Okay, uh, it happens for a lot of people. It's just a thing. But the performance on RuneScape is great. That's literally the only issue. Nothing slows it down. Uh, as for gaming, all your games will work that you have on Steam. Yes, gaming on macOS is a real thing. And all your apps are currently updated to work. So if you have a favorite app, it's most likely updated to work. Popcorn Time works. Twitch works. iStat Menu works. ScreenFlow works. System Monitor works. Okay. Uh, Safari 11 is now included. So that's great. iTunes 12.7. Uh, the App Store is a thing still that provides you with updates and does everything that it should. I mean, overall, it's pretty much what you remember I'm not currently signed in so you can't see what I own for those who are worried about using certain parts for your PC in case you run Mac OS on a PC uh, I've heard no problems with Wi-Fi yet okay so that's a new one I've heard people have tons of issues with booting um, installing updating to 10.13 even on real Macs, I have not had any issues besides the RuneScape cursor thingy and whatever else I mentioned so far. Now, usually when a new Mac OS releases, it takes a while for apps to update. But uh, a week after the GM candidate came out for 10.13, ScreenFlow was updated. Um, now as uh, HECV support, which is H2.65, um, I wouldn't recommend using it because it's a two-hour encode, and it's even with OpenCL, it's not worth touching. Um, right now, Final Cut Pro has not been updated for Mac OS 10.13. I think they're going to wait a while to possibly pull that off. Um, Discord was updated. Textural was updated. Uh, even Chrome was updated. Clover Configurator was updated. Spotify... Everything is all updated and ready to go. So you should have no worries about any of that being compatible or having compatibility issues. Uh, there's a lot of technical side to get into 10.13, but I'm not the type of person that's going to do it. I'm just giving you the user experience, my opinions and experience. So, you know, it's been great. Or should I say it's been fine, I guess? Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's been it's been fine, okay? And if you're expecting some huge speed boost, you're not going to get it. No, you're not. If you want a huge speed boost, you stick to 10.9 or 10.11.6, okay? You're going to get the best speed you possibly can out of your hack from those operating systems. There's no optimization whatsoever. Uh, no extra optimization whatsoever for 10.13 over the past Mac OSs. Uh, there's just a new file system which allows you to just take big files and duplicate them freaking instantly. Which, if you don't find that impressive, well, you're drunk off, you're behind. So, literally, look at that. That is impressive, okay? Uh, if you're using an HDD, if you're still stuck in the 90s, don't worry, you will not be forced onto APFS, but if you do want to convert your drive to APFS, it will cause no problems. So imagine that you want to do that. Um, what will happen is... Shit, how am I going to explain this? Convert to APFS. So you basically click that, you hit convert, and it will do it after whatever. So, it's easy to convert your drives to APFS if you want to try it out, if you're still on AFET. HFS Plus, okay? So, that's no problem. Apple took care of that without issue. Um, there's really not much to say besides that. Siri got improved a bit. Um, yeah, there's not really much added to the operating system besides that. How bad is that? Apple seems to be lacking on adding anything, any new innovations to their operating systems. Uh, APFS has said it would not last 20 years like Apple originally wanted. 
not surprised there. Uh, soon, Microsoft is going to come out with REFS for all computers, which is going to be pretty cool considering that uh, that is a great file system. It is a great file system. The downside to this is way too many people are having issues with web drivers, NVIDIA cards, things like that, even some AMD cards, and that's problematic, okay? Um, I would prefer 26 months of development time uh, for users with operating systems from now on. Uh, Microsoft's doing it. Debian's doing it. And Debian came out great. Windows 10 keeps coming out better and better. Uh, the Fall Creators update, I'm going to have a video about that soon. Uh, it's going to be called Let's Talk Fall Creators Update. We're going to go over the stability and stuff of that. Uh, the new improved features, the UI changes. And, you know, what's to be expected type thing. But in all, in terms of development and adding stuff into an operating system, Windows 10 is currently crushing Apple into the ground and I run Mac OS on my PC you know I can't use that word but you you know what it's called so I do have a love for the operating system I've been on it non-stop since you know this came out except to update the insider preview and my opinion on it so far is you could do better Apple you could do better but they just don't want to do better okay metal 2 is a godsend but what games are going to use it? I don't expect very many. Literally almost none at all. I mean, ARC could benefit from using Metal 2. They're not going to do anything. When PUBG comes to Mac OS, they could definitely benefit from Metal 2. But it's not going to happen. Because, you know, who wants to learn or integrate a new API into their system... And then have to learn another API, mainly Vulkan, when everything switches over to that. And if people support DirectX 12, you have three APIs to support in your system. Okay? If you want your computer on Mac, you want to use the best API possible. Vulkan, you could use that on Windows or Linux. But the fact is, three low-level APIs, one is going to be chosen as the supreme commander of all low-level APIs. Let's be honest, it's going to be Vulkan. Even though it's nowhere near being ready... It's nowhere near being fully optimized, and it keeps being held back by a certain company. So, overall, 10.13 doesn't bring anything new to the goddamn table besides the new file system. And Apple, stop failing and start failing up, at least. You know, do what Linux does. Fail up. Not fail down, fail up. That way you succeed while you're failing. Because right now... Uh, your new uh, operating system is sadly the laughing stock of some of the internet, and that's just huh, hilarious. Um, so that's it. I'm also going to try to do a small review on ISO 11 if I can pull it off. Uh, ScreenFlow apparently records your ISO's screen device thingy, so iOS screen. So I'm going to try that. And that's it, guys. So... If I made any sense at all, it's that Apple, you need to do better. Uh, new file system improvements to Siri, that's about it. Uh, e external graphics card support, you know, that's sort of big, but, you know, no one's going to really pull it off and it's not really going to become that big of a deal. It's not going to help with Mac OS's issues at all. And the new NVIDIA drivers come with metal support. That's it. Have a great day, guys.